On Sunday, that is last Sunday, the 11th of June, an unusual event took place around Kingston, upon Thames, not Jamaica. The London Bus Museum organised a run of some of their vehicles, supplemented by some that are in private hands. Now, classic vehicle events aren't exactly unusual in the normal scheme of things. Preserving heritage vehicles isn't enough for your true enthusiast, they have to run as well. I dare say that on any given weekend in the summer you could find half a dozen or more classic car, bus or train events. So what's special about this one? Well, the vehicles were running actual bus routes. They were following the routes of the 65 and the 71 buses out of Kingston, running alongside the normal everyday buses, often with a similar frequency. Some of them, like the AEC Regents and the good old Route Masters, would have been familiar on these routes many years ago, and some would have been entirely alien. What was more, on Sunday, anyone could ride on these buses for free. I mean, you can't say fairer than that, can you? Now, cards on the table, there's a very good reason why I don't make many bus videos on this channel. That is, I really don't know very much about buses. Trains, I know what I'm talking about. I have a base of knowledge, not so much with buses. Plus, the bus is the natural enemy of the train. I can tell a route master from a regent, but beyond that I'm a little bit lost. So I'm afraid I can't tell you much about the buses you're seeing. There was an impressively large range of vehicles, dating from the 1930s all the way through to the 80s. Somewhat depressingly, I remember riding on some of them. The later ones, not the ones from the 30s. Just to clarify. <coughs> My initial plan was to just come down and get some shots for potential use in future videos. But, well, free ride on a classic bus, that's not the kind of opportunity you get every day, is it? I took a ride to Ham Common, coming back from Ham Parade, which is a strong contender for my favourite street name in London. Riding these buses was a rather different experience. For one thing, I would say that riding on the top deck is a lot bumpier on these older buses, like this Leyland... um... something. That being said, the ventilation was far better, which was very welcome on a blazing hot day like Sunday. This sign made me curious. I mean, there weren't any smokers on board, were we breaking the law? I mean, I'm not grassing anyone up if they ask, I'm just wondering. What was also interesting was seeing how much interest there was. Naturally, an event like this is going to attract bus enthusiasts, I mean, it's organised by them. But there was a lot of casual interest, too. Kingston, if you don't know it, is a popular shopping district in the suburbs of south-west London, and at weekends it's always busy. Lots of people were taking an interest in the unexpected sight of these classic vehicles. No doubt many remembered seeing them in service around here. Listening in on the conversations on the bus, it's fine, I'm doing journalism, Many of the people on board had no idea the event was happening, and were simply riding for the novelty of it. I think it's fair to say that a good time was had by all, to use the old cliché. A big thank you to the Bus Museum for sorting this out. The Bus Museum is down at Brooklands, near Weybridge. They have a fine collection, covering a lot of history, and of course, many of their exhibits run. They state that they have the largest working collection of historic London buses in the world, and I can believe it. The Brooklyn site has a number of other museums and exhibits on site, so you can make a day of it. I'll put a link in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please do leave a like and consider subscribing for more. I'd like to thank my ever-generous donors on Ko-fi, on Patreon, and here on YouTube for your support. You are the upper deck to my Rootmaster. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.